All right, y'all, welcome back to Philly D's Garage. So today, I'm going to show you how uh, a good vacuum pump works and a bad uh, vacuum pump doesn't work. So we got it hooked up. I got the uh, low side and the high side hooked up. Um, so I'm going to show you how this pump won't uh, pull down the uh, vacuum. And I'm also going to show you how it, what it sounds like uh, when it's bad. So turn the switch on. You hear nothing it's just a motor the motor's no good so also it's not pulling vacuum down still still at zero so let me show you how a good pump works all right so we got the, the good pump running you can also hear that it sounds like it's running and as you can see I'm pulling down in the vacuum all right so you want to be anywhere between 28 and 30 inches of uh, mercury now if you have a leak in your system, your gauge is not going to read 28 to 30 inches of uh, mercury. Your gauge is going to stay up here, okay, around here. Because if you have a leak in your system, the pump can't can pull a vacuum on the system. So don't get that confused. So your pump is still good. It just you can't pull a vacuum because you have a leak. So that's the whole point of using a vacuum pump so you can verify whether if your system... Uh, has a leak or not right so I wanted to share with y'all today of why you want to vacuum your system out before you put AC refrigerant into it um so the reason why you want to vacuum your system out and get all the moisture out um, is because one um, the AC won't charge if you have moisture in your system right it won't charge right so uh, and it won't run efficient um, you also want to vacuum your system out to confirm that uh, there's no leaks in the system. So once you get your your uh, system vacuumed down to 28 to 30 inches of mercury, you let it sit before you open up any of the valves. You just let it sit because if it if it drains back down, if it goes back this way, then that means you have a leak. If it's still sitting there, then that means you don't have a leak. So you want to make sure you don't have moisture in your system. And you also want to make sure your system doesn't have a leak. All right, y'all. So the pump has been running now for at least 30 minutes. So we're down to about 28 to 30 uh, inches of mercury. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the pump off. All right, so now we're going to let this sit. And we're going to monitor this gauge to make sure that the gauge doesn't go back up, all right? So you want it to sit there and maintain that 28 to 30 um, inches of mercury, and that'll make sure that you don't have a leak anywhere in your AC system, okay? So you got plenty of different uh, components in your AC system that can leak. So you just, that's why you hook up this pump to suck down a vacuum and you want to verify that there's no leaks. All right, guys, so this pump has ran and it's now been off for about 30 minutes now, at least. So as you can see, the uh, vacuum is still sitting around 28 to 30 inches of mercury. So that's a good thing. So now we know that we vacuumed out the system and there's no leaks. All right, now if this gauge would have raised up, uh, anywhere back up in this area, you will know that you have a a small leak somewhere um, or possibly a bigger leak. Um, so now all we got to do is uh, transfer this hose over to your uh, refrigerant and charge it up. All right, y'all, so it's a little over 85 degrees in here. So as you can see, I got the low side around 32, 33, and the high side is a little over 200. So let's check the temp inside. It's so cold in here, man. So this is the reason why you want to vacuum your system out first. We're sitting at 33 degrees, and I could probably get a 